Now oh, one will do for now. Hello. 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 Ah, oh, I'm starving. I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Wakey, wakey! See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. Hello, Lottie. You again? <clears throat> you, you again? Do you know where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him at the post office. But the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a letdown, wasn't it? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my! I think you're yeah, right! You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> your business. I want to place a forwarding request. State the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. 
Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there absolutely no long distance devices? There are no long distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes. As long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. Is that fun, too? Whoa, if you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3, and that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. See you later. Error. Error. All right, suit yourself. I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... Hmm, the funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. <laughs> Indeed. What the... A dart? A little longer. And... Oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike! Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Mm, just, uh, just, just a moment. What? Uh, Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I've counted them.
Hey, Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow. So he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you, so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony! <laughs> I like him. Yeah, it's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out! Get out! <laughs> oh. ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Poor Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is a no good Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> what are you doing? i better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expired. <laughs> Cheap lies. A cat in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light let wait from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, 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 I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One life package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched. <laughs> right, it should shift back a gear. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now. <laughs> right, it could really speed up a bit. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. 
Hey, 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 the coffee makes it work faster. <laughs> I should apply for a job as producer for a video game developer. Hey, Yoo-hoo! Hello! Hmm? Yeah? What's up? How's work? Everything's calm here, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus or something. I haven't had any work at all this morning. Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for postal services personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. I have to make an urgent call. Uh-huh. And what, pray tell, has that got to do with me? Well, you're the one with the radio. Keep your hands off. This device is for postal service personnel only. You can transmit till you've got foam coming out of your ears if you want to. But you're not using this device. Capiche? Where can I make my call from? Is it local? No, long distance. Huh. Good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve system in the vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup system then. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what they say about you. You're suffering from a deluded sense of self-importance. What do you mean, suffering? Who's suffering? All right, everyone else is suffering from your deluded sense of self-importance. Huh, <laughs> that's more like it. Don't you get tired at some point? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? This is Kuvac. I'm as chilled out as can be. What, pray tell, should wear me out here? Well, uh, maybe looking that stupid? Well, can I at least borrow your headphones? Are you mad? I need those for work. Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? How do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. <laughs> You're not too busy up here, are you? I'll be going then. You do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. I totally agree. Well, the pigeons get their bearings from the planet's magnetic field, right? So, let's see what happens if I start fiddling with this a bit. <laughs> I love to play God. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead went from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Error. Error. 
postage paid is three times as much as it should be. Packages of postage level three are not suitable for the transport of small goods. Padding with bubble wrap initiated. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 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 yeah. One heavy package is being dispatched. Pigeon from large pigeonhole is being dispatched. Now he's finally blown his last fuse, which was to be expected. <laughs> 